Hello everyone, today we are going to solve sub array sum equal k problem. So in this problem we have a array and we have to find the total number of sub arrays whose sum is equal to k. So in this example you can see that we have this array 1, 2, 3 and this uh, k is given as 3. So we have to find total number of sub arrays whose sum is 3. So here you can see that 1 and 2 its sum is 3 and this 3 it also has sum 3. So we have total 2 sub arrays whose sum is 3. So here we will return this 2. We have to return this number of sub arrays. So how we can solve this problem? So the very first solution that comes into our mind will be a brute force approach. Where what we will do? We will find all the sub arrays and then calculate check if the sub array sum is equal to k or not. If it is k then we will update our sum answer otherwise not. So how do we do that? We can initialize our answer to 0 and then we will start our loop from um, 0 to its size let's say n and then what we will do? We will check if current number is current number is our k or not. In this case this 3 is equals to k. Okay. So if this is the case in that case what we will do? If I can say if a i equal equals to k, if this is the case, in that case I will update my answer plus plus or what I will do, I will take another loop from let's say this is my i, so z which is i plus 1 to n and I will check with uh, first of all I am initializing here, I have to initialize my sum of current, sum of current sub array, so here I will say sum plus equals to nums of uh, this j and then what we will do if my sum if my sum is equal equals to k then I will update my answer then I will update my answer and finally I will return my answer I will return my answer so if you analyze the time and space complexity of this we are not using any extra space so our space complexity will be of 1 but what will be our time complexity what will be our time complexity? So if we see that this will take O n and this is take O n. So overall space complexity will be O n square. So our space complexity will be O n square. So now we, but here what we are doing is we are checking here. Let's say our sum is here. What is our sum till now? Our sum is on um, this will be you can say you will initialize with sum of num i. Okay. So here your current sum is num i. So what you are finding here? You are finding k minus um, num i. Okay. Because we have to find total sum k. We have to find total sum k. We already have num i sum. We already had this sum. So what is remaining? The remaining is k minus num i. I can say the remaining is this. We have to find this. And what we are doing is we are finding this in O of n. So is there any way that by which we find this in O1? Yes, we can find this using the has map. So now let's understand how we can solve this problem using has map. So now let's understand how we can solve this problem with the help of map. Basically, what is why we are going to use our map is I have to find that sum minus k can I find this sum minus k which I am earlier finding O of n? Can I find this in O1? Let's see. Let's understand with the help of prefix sum. So right now, let's say this my uh, what I will do. I will initialize my answer, my output to 0. Let's say my output or I can say answer is 0. And I will use prefix sum. Prefix sum. For this, I will use prefix sum and I will initialize my prefix sum to 0. And I will use one map in which I will store first of all I will store this 0 and 0 is occur one time right now. So how do I start? So from here I will check the current sum is uh, 0. So what I will do I will add 3 into it and I will check thus I have 3 minus 7. Do I have minus 4 in my map? No it is not there. Then I will make my pointer here and add this minus 4 here. This minus 4 is occur one time this minus 4. Note this minus 4. I have to add this prefix sum. I have to add this prefix sum that is 3. That we have a sub array 
what does it mean in this map we can say we have a sub array whose sum is 3 and it is one time there is till now there is one sub array whose sum is 3 okay so after knowing this what we will do we will i am here from here i will find do i have 4 minus 7 that is 4 minus 7 what it will be um wait a minute not 4 minus 7 right now what will be my sum my sum will be 7 3 plus 4 7 and 7 minus 7 will become 0 do i have a 0 yes i have a 0 so what i will do if i have a 0 then i will update my answers to 1 and here i what i will upload it my prefix sum 7 is also one time what does it mean i have a sub array i have a this sub array i have a sub array whose sum is whose sum is k whose sum is this okay so now what i will do after doing this i will again go to here i am at 7 i am at 7 so my prefix sum will become 14 now prefix sum is 14 so i will check do i have 14 minus 7 what i am doing is here sum minus 7 sum minus k so do i have this yes i have 7 i have 7 what does it mean what does it mean that what i am doing here actually so this is my sum this is my prefix sum this is my sum if if i have sum minus k let's say if i have a sum sub arrays sum sub arrays whose sum is sum minus k that means after that after that array i will have k because that sum minus k sub array plus k sub array will give me sum and i have this sum so if i can break this sum into these two these two as sub array these two sub array that means i will have this k now i have to find how many times this sub minus sub array we have okay i hope you understand the intuition so now let's do a dry run continue our dry run so we are here so after here we, what we will do we will update our answers to 2 and we will go here so till now you can see also that we have this 3 4 sub array and this 7 sub array whose sum is uh, sum is k that is 7 so now i am here so what will be my prefix sum my prefix sum will become 16 my prefix sum and this will become 16 now do i have a 16 minus k 7 no i do not have anything so what i will do i will mark 16 that's one that means i have a sub array whose sum is 16 now i will go here so do i have a 16 minus 3 that is 16 minus 3 my sum will become 13 so do i have a 13 minus 7 what is this 13 minus 7 that is 6 no i do not have 6 so what i will do i will make 13 is also here now i will move my pointer here so my sum become 14 my sum become 14 so i will check do i have a 14 minus 7 do i have this yes i have this so what i will do i will say that yes i have 14 minus 7 7 is here and it is one time so i will update my answers to 3 and what it will be 14 minus 7 what does it mean right now my pointer is here right now my pointer is here at current sum this sum is 14 if you see that its sum is 3 uh its sum is 14 and do i have any sub arrays whose sum is 7 so if you see here that you have two sub arrays whose sum is 7 whose sum is 7 so this will give me so there will be sub arrays which sum will be this 7 so i hope you understand here so what we are doing is this sub arrays sum is 14 and this sub arrays sum is 7 this is also 7 that means it is 0 this sub arrays sum is 0 so if i include this sub arrays if i include this sub array if i include this 7 2 minus 3 1 so this is 0 and this is 7 so overall sum is 7 so this sub array is also give me 7 so i can write 7 2 minus 3 and 1 now what i will do i will increase my pointer to here and i will update my answers to 18 i will update my answers to 18 now do i have 18 minus 7 do i have 11 here no i do not have so i will mark it here i will mark this 14 also here 14 is also here so now what i will do i will go there and my answer will become 20 now do i have a 20 minus 7 do i have a 20 minus 7 13 yes i have a 13 i have a 13 so i will update my answers to 4 so now if you see uh i have traversed this so right now i am here and this sum is where is this 13 this 13 will be 
if you see this 13 will be here till then we have 13 so if you see this array this sub array its sum is also 1 4 2 this sub array sum is also 7 so i hope you understand the i hope you understand everything till now so let's check out the code and understand the time and space complexity so here what we are doing is we are using this map map where we are storing our sum and how many times this sum is present and here what i am doing is i am replacing my answer equals to zero and current sum equals to zero first of all this zero because i have this null sub array null is sub array of all arrays so i will start this zero with one i have a currently i have a sum zero which is present okay then what i am doing is i am finding i am finding uh, first of all i increase my sum and after after that i will find this sum minus k if you see the previous code first of all i make my sum in this left my sum equals to num i and then i will use one loop and to reduce that o and loop i am using this map so that i can find in o1 so after finding this if i find this so i will make my answer plus equals to sum minus k and finally i will update my i will add my current sum into my map so after doing this uh, this time complexity will be o of n this will be o of n i will finally return my answer so i can say my time complexity overall time complexity will be o of n or overall space complexity space complexity will be my o of n for using this another map so i hope you understand the everything intuition and the source code and the time and space complexity if it helps you do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button thanks for watching